Hi, my name's Simon Hayter, and today we're going to be discussing the connection warnings you get on Xbox Live whilst testing your network connection. I'm going to show you how to set up port forwarding on routers with uh, WDWRT firmwares. Uh, the settings, however, will work on any router, so if you don't have a WD uh, WRT router, don't worry, the settings uh, illustrated in this video will work on any router. So let's not waste any time and let's hop over to our router settings page. As you can see, I'm already logged in. I'm running version V24 SP2. However, it will work with all other versions uh, of firmware. So the first thing we need to do is find out which IP is being used by the Xbox. So the way to do this is we jump over to status, um, LAN, and this will display all devices connected via Ethernet or wireless. Now I know all these other devices, the Android, my computer, my girlfriend's computer, my server, and this one which is the star um, you may see Xbox 360 here, uh, assuming I'm not getting that because um, I'm using uh, one of those main, uh, you plug the Ethernet into the Xbox and then into the mains and then near my router I've got another thing on the wall which the Ethernet comes out the mains and straight into the router. So I'm not using wireless, I'm using one of those power mains adapters and I'm assuming it's skewing up, um, it's screwing up the host name um, and putting star. So I know this is my Xbox, so it ends with 2.4. So take note of that. Now the next thing we need to do is set up the port forwarding. So I've already got a set of rules here. Um, so let's go ahead and add the Xbox Live rules. So there's four four rules in total. So click add four times. Let's label these Xbox Live 1. Copy that. Let's change that. So they're all unique. Uh, let's add the port. So the first port you need to add is 88. The connection, uh, the protocol type is UDP. The IP address of the Xbox is 192.168.1.24. So let's copy that address and pull it in all the others. Now it's going from port 80, 88 to port 88. We enable that, very important. Now the next port you want to set up is port 80 and that uses TCP. Actually going to put that on both. enable that. Uh, the next port we need to set up is 3074 and again that's on both. So let's put 3074, enable that. And the next one is 53 and again that's on protocol both. Put port 53 and remember to click enable. So we've got all these nicely in there now. Uh, 88, port 80 to 80, port 3074, yep, all good, so let's click save. Let's click apply. And that's it, give it a few moments, uh, it normally takes about a couple of minutes for the rules to actually kick in, so don't... Um, so do give it to a couple of minutes before you actually do another test on your Xbox. But by doing those settings on any router, or in this case the WDWRT uh, firmware, it will now get rid of that message for you. I hope that's helped. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.